Hey there, Aquarius. Welcome or welcome back to Stars Line Oracle YouTube channel. Lucky Stars Community. Cat Star here with you all. I love reading for the week of August. Nope. Nope. Scratch that. September 4th through 10th. As a reminder, my readings are for entertainment and are general in nature. They may or may not resonate for everybody, so please do take what is for you and leave what isn't for those of you liking and sharing the videos. Thank you so, so much. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. I also want to give a huge shout out to all of the new and returning viewers and subscribers and to the channel members. Thank you all so, so much for being here. I truly, truly appreciate each and every one of you. All right, well... This is the only deck that was indicated. I haven't even looked at the other side um, for this love reading for you. That's the only one that Spirit was like, yep, that's the one. So here we go. We're going to see what message comes out for you. Ew. Well, there's that. Oh, my. All right, well, let's check it out. Let's see. Got seven cards that came out. Hmm. Rather interesting. There's some conflicted energy. This starts out with distance, separation, space, blockage, influences, attachments, third parties, peers. Um, so there's, there's, within love, there's an influence. Um, it feels like a very, um, it doesn't feel like it's, it's somebody who has best interest in mind. It's like somebody is coming in and really feeling themselves if that makes sense right um for some of you you might have a little bit of distance in love or there might be distance between somebody and within that distance there is uh an outside influence that comes in that does kind of it's almost like it's it's somebody who wants to come in between something whether it's actually there or not it's almost like um just hear me out here okay it's almost like you or somebody has um feelings or care or concern for somebody else and uh, yet there's a, a bit of distance or there's not a lot of uh, maybe you haven't been communicating maybe there's no communication or or what have you and somebody else knows that it feels feels like and so the, there's this energy of it's almost like peer pressure like somebody um, else is like hey well let's go do this or let's do this or whatever and, and, and it doesn't feel like a positive influence it feels like a negative influence to um, create more space or distance between. Okay. Um, and it's, it's interesting energy because it almost doesn't even feel as if there is anything um, like it's maybe not, um, a relationship at this time or there's not, uh, that right. But there's that separation, that distance, maybe it's even long distance or some, but there is something that comes in or somebody that comes in almost like that third party. There's an influence that comes through that can create some chaos. So interesting. Now you have clarity and you have divine feminine coming through. Okay. You've got truths, intentions. Oh, we talked about this. Okay. We were just talking about intentions here that, that, that doesn't feel like they have the best intentions honesty and then you have divine feminine yin feminine energy okay so there is an energy with this that's coming through here that uh there is a divine feminine energy that's going to be showing up in one way or another here aquarius there is that that energy of nurturing of caring of loving of of being very um graceful very much into that space of of flow of, of allowing of being um and it's almost like it's center of ten of attention energy okay we, we've got this beautiful statue here right very feminine energy and then we have a camera over here okay it's almost like and the camera appears to be the way it came out kind of pointed at this person okay 
within this, there is going to be this energy of somebody who is very honest. It could be you, divine feminine energy, or it could be somebody else. It's about the energy, not about the, the gender, okay? Um, but there is somebody that's going to show up with the truth, with positive, beautiful intentions, with honesty to bring about some clarity. So whoever this um, inside outside influence is, they're going to be called upon. It's almost like this energy of, of somebody being like, what's my name? What's my name? Like, you know what? Um, like I'm the one or I'm this or that almost overbearing and very malicious energy. And then this energy comes in, right? Um, they're, this one's trying to cause that space or that separation or that distance or whatever. And then this one comes in and it's like, oh no, very caring and loving and being like, oh no, but very assertive, not aggressive. Very assertive being like, nope, 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 that's not going to happen. We're not going there. We're not doing this. We're not, none of that kind of stuff, right? Almost in, right in the center here of these two, okay, we have, we have, um, rejection, okay? Abandoned, dismissed, ir irrational fear, okay? So here's what's going to happen here. Or at least here's the energy coming through. Now we have these two cards here as well, um, Whoever this influence is, they are going to, it's almost like they're facing a wrath, okay? Um, like they're, I, I, I don't know. It's like I'm seeing like the parting of the water, but it's people. I don't know. It's, this is such a weird, um, weird love reading, but it's almost like, you know, when, um, couples have a lot of friends and then like that couple breaks up and they're like, oh, this one goes with that friend and or that one these friends go with that one and these friends go with that one because it's difficult to stay with both friends unless the like separate outings or separate things what have you it's almost like that's what it is like there's this this energy here right and then there's this energy here okay neither one of these energies feel like you or your person if that makes sense it's like this outside energy for this, this third party, somebody coming in trying to cause separation or cause what, but it doesn't even feel like you guys are together. It, does that make sense? Hopefully you get what I'm putting out because I'm very confused here. Um, it doesn't even feel like you guys are together. Maybe there is this energy of, of that distance, that separation. Maybe you guys are no contact, maybe what have you, but there's an influence um, that is working to come in an attachment, a third party, a peer of some point that is, is wanting to create more issues that is wanting to have. And then there's this other energy here that is wanting to bring about that truth, that honesty, that it's a divine feminine energy that the pure intentions were, these are malicious intentions over here. It's just, it's like, it's like this relationship or this separation, however that comes through or even the, an acquaintance in whatever way, right? Because love comes through in many different ways is kind of being pulled apart because of it. There's that feeling of rejection and it feels very much like both sides of, of this being you and your specific or special person are feeling rejected. Um, it feels very much like maybe you aren't reaching out because of this separation, this third party, this distance, this blockage, this influence this outside malicious energy bad intentions um aren't reaching out to each other like you're feeling rejected and then there's this other one over here that's like hey you know this and this and this like this pure positive intention pure honesty and truth this clarity coming through this this beautiful feminine energy coming through but it's like you're you guys are torn down the middle but then there's that energy of what's my name i don't know why that's coming through here <laughs> i don't know and some of you might um, might get that maybe, maybe somewhere somebody's whispering other information that is causing that, that energy of, of not really almost like wondering if your person or, or whoever you're not in contact with or how is this coming through for you even remembers your name like that. What's my name? What's my name kind of energy. Um, it's very interesting because on either side of this rejection, there is this energy of commitment, marriages, promises, fidelity, you see, very different from this energy above, okay? This is a very committed, very loving, very honest, very truthful energy, okay? Um, just as this is discussing, all right? So there is that potential. It feels like you, you guys are in between a rock and a hard place as far as that goes, whether this is 
I mean, because still it doesn't feel like you're together, but it feels like there's a potential that you guys could come together and it could be very promising. It could be um, almost everything that you wanted. It could be very beautiful, okay? There's that charming, graceful, kind-hearted kind of energy with these two, but in the middle is that feeling of abandonment, of feeling dismissed, of having irrational fears, of rejection. This feels very much like both of you. You're both feeling this. Okay? So for whatever reason, this week in love, it's as if nobody, you've got this weird energy, you've got this beautiful pure energy, you've got the, but right in the middle, it feels like you guys are both at, um, at a stalemate. Like you, you, you're both feeling a bit rejected. You're both not sure about reaching out. One of you's got, or both of you may have this in your ear. You have that separation. You have that, those outside influences like, oh no, you know, let them reach out or no, you reach out or, or no, they did this or no, they said that or no, I heard this or no, I did that. Almost this, this weird energy. And then you're like, wait, you know, or, or your person or both of you right here in the middle are like, what? Well, I don't, I don't know. I don't understand. I'm confused. I don't have any clarity. I don't, I don't know what's happening. And then you have this other energy over here. It's like a clash. You have this other energy over here. That's like, so offering clarity, pure intentions, honesty, truth, beautiful feminine energy. Like, yes, you know, go with the flow and you know, all the things. And oh, you're in the middle. This is a, this feels like a tough week. It feels like a weird week. Um, let me see what's at the bottom. Is that going to be helpful or is it not shallow, hollow, empty boredom? Okay. So that may just be, some of you may be feeling that you've got curse, hex, witchcraft, negative mindset. You see, this all feels like it goes very much with this, but then you have intuition, right? Inner knowing. It's almost like that energy of, I know though, heart song, telepathy, inner knowing. It's, it, it's just, it's like, it's like there is an energy that is wanting to keep this knot together, right? It's like the outside influences, the separation, the blockages, the right. Um, it's like that. And, and this is what you're both feeling. Rejection, not wanting to reach out, but both, it feels like, you know, or one or both of, you know, see, and you've got loyalty under that. See, trustworthy, reliability, believing, it just, it feels like, you know, with the commitment and the beauty on either side, and then you've got that intuition, you've got that loyalty, but hearts have been hurt or there's a feeling of rejection. It feels very much like this. So pay attention to who's in your party, who's in your camp, who you're listening to, who's telling you stuff. Is it on this side or is it on this side? Because it feels very much like you both have somebody who is for and somebody who's against and or somebody who has very, um, unpure or impure intentions and somebody who has very pure intentions and um sometimes we just need to listen to ourselves and go with that okay and not not let anybody else in the outside world get into our heads because sometimes when it does you can get this side or you can get this side okay um very interesting reading coming through here i do hope this resonates with you and for you uh it it definitely you have a lot of and back and forth energy this week. It feels like it's going to resolve, but um, it's going to take you guys making the decision. Uh, I, I don't know that there's that inner knowing, there is that trusting, that believing coming through, but there's also this. And uh, what you guys do with that is, is definitely, it'll be intriguing to see how this plays out for you this week. Yeah. All right. That's what I've got. So again, I do intend this resonated with you and for you. If it did, please do hit the like button and share this video. It does help others to be able to see these messages that might not otherwise. Also feel free to hit the subscribe button right down below and the bell icon so you're notified every time I upload new readings. It is free for you to subscribe to the YouTube channel and it does support the Lucky Stars community in growing and thriving. As always, I do wish you lots of hope, lots of joy, and lots and lots of love with all of your current and future endeavors. I'll see you in the next reading.